I'm going to do a serve burst and I'm going to try to aim this camera correctly. I made a video of a surf burst. Um, great. I just lost the blue I need. It's here somewhere. Here it is. So you start with blue. I think the problem I did on the previous one was that I started with yellow I mean I've done these before but I guess I just had a, a brain fart that day you start with blue and you carefully put a burst on it trying not to overspray the middle You never want to overspray the middle in general, but sometimes you're just a little more conscious of it than others. Yeah, the other video I made, the camera was aiming in a horrendously horrible way. See how I just screwed up right there? I made it dark. Now I got to try to compensate. I'm already off my game. There we go. You just got to kind of color it in when you do that mistake. Kind of like an airbrush, you just get real close and you get in there and you put the color right exactly where you want it. Okay. So this isn't going to be opaque. This is going to be see-through, transparent, but not as, not as much as maybe some other paint jobs out there. The sides and the burst get sapphire blue, which I have here. I'm not having a very good uh, showing here so far. I need to slow down. Maybe that's my problem. Too close, too wet. Slow down, make it even. Pay attention. Okay. Okay, you can still see there's a certain amount of overspray that got on the face, but it's acceptable amount. That's just what happens when you spray the sides. A little bit of overspray gets on the face or the back, depending. I think what it is, is my paint is too strong. I need to dilute it a little bit, reduce it. Because when you have too strong a paint, if you put it on a little too heavy somewhere, well, now you're combating that heavy spot, trying to even it up. You know what I'm saying? And it feels like that's what's happening here. Okay, now I will try to even up the sides as best I can so that they are consistent looking. We have sapphire blue, which this is, and cobalt blue, which is also a transparent blue. Both of them are candy type colors, meaning they're transparent intended to be transparent but the more that you put on the darker and darker it gets
kind of hard to see the bottom sometimes. go with that for now then I'll turn this down to beam mode turn my air down a bit and burst it okay I'll try to keep the burst small because I can always widen it up if I feel the need you know how these surf bursts look they're just blue and yellow but the transition between the two colors creates sort of a green look so I need that transition to be nice and gradual so that when you put the yellow you get that green look. Okay. There we go. Yeah, I think on the one I did before I put the yellow first. I even put yellow on the sides. That was a big mistake. Because then when you put this blue over the yellow, well now the sides start to look green. They're not supposed to look green. And I've had to put a whole lot of blue on there to try to kill that green, but then they ended up being too dark. So I got my basic little burst on there. Sides look pretty even, generally speaking, always. Another reason I'll put lacquer on things sometimes to it, it kind of highlights your paint job a little bit so you can see better what it, what it's going to look like with clear on it. And sometimes it's easier to see inconsistencies or imperfections or little things like that. Okay, so there goes a burst. There goes this burst. Now what I'll do is I'll kind of make the burst a little faded and softer on the edge. Fading towards the middle. This will be the part that turns green. Okay, do that here. How's that? Flame, 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 which you could still see. And believe me, when it gets cleared and polished, you'll be able to see it even more than you can see it now. Okay, so let's change this blue to yellow, which I have here in this uh, cup. So now I got my yellow in there. I'm gonna wash out all the blue. Turn my fan up a little bit. Not big. Okay. Now checking for overspray. I might wipe it before I put the yellow. Just to make sure it comes out nice and clean. Just focusing on the middle of the guitar. We're barely pulling the trigger, just trying to get the yellow established in the center area there. I'm not even going to the sides, just spraying the yellow in the center. You know what I mean? I'm not painting over the blue, I guess is what I meant. Already starting to see that green vibe happening. Okay, that's good for now. Let me do this. 
stamp it. See? <coughs> it's the top of my paint. Like this is how I'm doing it. My trigger. Off, on, off, on, off, on. I'm just barely pulling it. Trying to control where I put that yellow. We've never done a faded one of these, but if we ever did, I think that'd be about it. Maybe a little more. Faded surf brush, imagine that. Okay, so I'm gonna say that that center is yellow enough. And about the same yellowness. Maybe another hit right here. Okay, now what I'll do is to green up that area, the transition, turn my fan down to a beam like this, and kind of back off, and now go over the, uh, just painting like right there on where the green should be, just kind of throwing some yellow over that faded area where I put the blue, try to green it up a little. Why they call this a surf burst, I don't know. Blue and green and yellow doesn't seem like surf, but hey, what do I know? Okay. Now. That seems surf first to you. Feels like the green needs to be greener. You know what I can do? Yep, I can put another tweak of blue right over that area where I just put the yellow. See what happens. Let's see if I can. What happens if I do that? Probably, probably is gritty. If it's gritty, and then I spray blue over it, it'll, it'll look funny. Well, you saw how light I was putting it on, so it dries quick. You know, but different lacquers, like you could probably get nitrocellulose lacquer from different paint manufacturers that maybe wouldn't dry as fast. So, the stuff that we use does. And I apply it lightly. So that helps. Okay, blue. Let's see if we can ease a little blue on there to green it up just the hair more. Hmm? Oh yeah. It's not supposed to be green green, it's supposed to be like, hey, is there green there? And then... <laughs> oh yeah, baby. There we go, I feel like that's green. Now to further the contrast, I'll darken up the edge just a touch. Yeah. Surf burst. 